ahead. Okay. Are you all right? Can you see me? Yes, you can see me, right? Yes. All right, one moment here. I just got to get this set up so they can see me too. Do you have any idea what's going on here? Probably not, right? Uh, no. Well, I, I assume this was a, an interview uh, for uh, to promote the gig we're doing in Lloyd Minister. Does that sound about Yes, right? we will. Let me say that right now. County and Spenny's in Saskatchewan Tour 2022 going to Regina. Am I saying that correctly? Regina. Regina. At the tour. Which, which, by the way, has the uh, funniest uh, tourism video I've ever seen in my life. It's a, you look it up on YouTube. Regina tour tourists. Are they so. embracing the uh, the fact that they rhyme with vagina? No, no, no. But they're 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 trying to make the best of a uh, very difficult uh, situation in terms of uh, uh, things to do in Regina. So it's a lovely it place, best. right? I mean, is Regina a lovely place? It has to be. I don't know. All of Canada is beautiful, isn't it? No. <laughs> August 20th at the Saskatoon at Outlaws and August 21st at Lloyd Minister at the Vic Juba Theater. Who is Vic Juba? Don't know. You don't know either? Wondered that, wondered that myself when I saw the, uh, the name. I don't know much. I've uh, always loved Canada and Canadian comedy. Kids in the Hall are my idols. And uh, I found Kenny vs. Spenny sort of late in my life. But uh, it is one of the, I would say, you know, your guys' faces should at least be on the Mount Rushmore of the uh, Canadian uh, comedian Mount Rushmore. If there were 30 spots, 30 spots, would you think yeah. you should be up there? Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I suffer from a complete lack of ego. So uh, Kenny would think he should be the only one on the, the uh, mountain or whatever we have here that we would uh, carve uh, heads into but uh, is it not the yin yeah, and the yeah. yang it's the yin and the yang with you guys right you guys are uh, yeah. stuck with each other now till maybe even in the afterlife well yeah i mean people we we were stuck together from a very young age because our fathers were friends uh so i mean it's a tv show but it's 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 as far away from an act or sketch comedy that i think you can get and still be under the comedy umbrella it's a very bizarre uh thing that we've created and have been milking uh for decades now during the live show you give out prostate exams i've heard do you have a medical degree to do this or is canada a little loosey-goosey about that sort of thing um a lot of the shrinkers are loosey-goosey but um, <laughs> the the uh no i have no medical degree uh, I'll tell you quickly how that happened. Uh, I don't remember whose idea it was. It sounds like something Kenny would do. He doesn't want to do humiliations live on stage, nor do I, but I am cognizant of the fact that the audience loves it. So uh, in lieu of competing in a live show, which we don't do and never would do, uh, I offer that up at the end of the show. Uh, my deal with Kenny was I will do it. Uh, provided so is his I idea? I, I don't know, okay. probably. I can't imagine that I, I thought and he panned it off on you. Well, yeah, <laughs> uh, he, he doesn't do humiliations life. He's he's too cool. What is it about uh, suffering? What is it about suffering that people love? Even here, on, I'm on Twitch and everything is sort of guided by even this board behind me, uh, which is just what we do here is we just list a number of activities and roll the dice for decide what we do. And they always want to see you suffer, even in comedy. What is it about that? human nature um i i don't i don't have a good answer for that because i, I don't know if it, it i'm not particularly suffering because i'm i'm wearing a rubber glove and i've, I've been doing i've done it so many times the audience clearly isn't suffering they're in a bit of horror you might say a lot of them are screaming and laughing are you not are you just not going all the way up are you going all the way up oh, no i'm going i'm going right in there man right to the uh to this to this knuckle oh my uh, god if they let me, um, but let me just quickly explain the the, the uh, so when the idea came about, my first reaction was sure I'll do it because no guy's going to let me do that to him in a live show, uh, and uh, sure enough, as usual, I was wrong. And I think of the you know ninety to a hundred times we've done it live all over the world, uh, only one city, and I don't even remember where it was. I think it was in Europe. Uh, wouldn't. Uh, have a guy step up to do it 
Uh, but my deal I cut was once I realized that, oh my God, uh, people are going to let me do this, was that I would give a, a, a very Spenny esque lecture on prostate cancer. Okay. Because at the time, uh, the only way to really check uh, for uh, the cancerous or hopefully uh, benign uh, little, little balls on the prostate was through a digital exam. So uh, that was, you know, I know that pisses off the fans when I get on my high horse. So that was perfect for me. Uh, now, all these, all this time later, I wanted to put it down. Uh, Kenny wanted to, you know, but but we can't do anything better than that for some reason. It's just a, a show topper for some reason. So now I've dropped all the pretense of, of cancer or anything. It's just who wants to get their butt. You're finger? locked into it now, and everyone's awaiting that as the final uh, grand finale. Are they chanting it in the audience? No, not really. Uh, you know, certain people who have seen the show before, uh, they might yell it out. Uh, chanting, no. If anything, they chanted, Spenny sucks. I get a lot of that. Or, hey, Wolfish. Uh, yeah, that's happening in the chat right now. <laughs> yeah, so that stuff happens. But honestly, uh, you know, there's the old adage uh, that was actually in our documentary pitch from all those years ago. you got to give the public what they want. Uh, I get paid a good amount of money doing these shows, and uh, for some reason, it doesn't bother me to do it. Uh, uh, obviously, if I wasn't wearing a rubber glove, that would be a whole different ballgame. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll do it. Can I'll you it discover cancer this way, though? Uh, the examination? Yeah, yeah they're, they're, called, they're called polyps. So you feel a little bump inside. Well, I don't because I'm not a doctor, but uh, I just get it in and out. You know, I, I there's no pretense of any medical. Do you pre-screen the person and make sure that they've taken a uh, bowel movement earlier in the day and are no, clean? No, we've had some messy situations. Uh, oh. or, yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, you know, this is not something that I personally would want to see in a live comedy show. Uh, but I can see why people like it because it's so fucking weird. You know, it's so just damn weird uh however uh, a lot of uh, the hostility i have with the audience which works really well for me comedically is that they're you know uh, basically the kenny fans especially are a bunch of idiots as far as I'm <laughs> and, and uh i don't mind taking their do money you go to your I, subreddit at all no i don't blame you i avoided it too we posted something up there and it's just uh I immediately knew what it would be like. It seems like if your show has the spirit of sometimes meanfulness, even if it's playful or part of the show, people take that seriously, and then the subreddit becomes a reflection of that. You know, yeah, I've seen that a I lot agree, of times. I agree, but, but we live in a mean culture. Let's be honest. I, I liken it back. I don't know if you're a wrestling fan, but big wrestling fan. I'm ready to talk that with you any any moment. Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, what really happened was, you know, in the old days there was a clear delineation between the good guy and the bad guy and uh i guess the attitude era you know we're all tweeners now is what you're saying or what no they're all, i don't know what that means but <laughs> it means in between all, yeah no they're all <laughs> going for the bad guy they love the bad guy uh or at least they did in the attitude era i'm not that current with the product but um you know so uh so that's fine so i'm the guy who actually gives a shit i'm the guy who tells the truth i'm the guy who plays by the rules and they want to hate me. Totally fine. Well, a lot of it, a lot of your let's talk about wrestling. A lot of people like to dissect the entire show and think it's kayfabe, right? That a lot of things were pre-planned. Oh, oh, our show. Yeah, your show. I'm saying in, yeah. in general. Well, you know, we, you know, that's been a, a lingering accusation for a long time now. Uh, the reality is, uh, it, it, it was at times it had to be a little bit fake just uh, because of television. But uh, what people don't understand who haven't heard me explain this was that I agreed to uh, be in the dark in terms of what Kenny and his crew uh, had planned. The producers knew, uh, the, the sound people knew, everybody knew but me. And uh, so, yeah, did I, do I think Kenny's gonna cheat? Of course, I've known him my whole life before we were ever on TV, that's his nature. But uh, you're never overthinking I, it, like uh, where the bit's gonna go? Like, you know, because no, no, then you then you'd have moments like, you know, I guess the most one of the most uh, loved moments of the series is Kenny blowing that queef. It's not a fart. It was a queef on the staircase. <laughs> you know, you I'm, not an actor. I'm not an actor. My reaction was absolutely genuine. Uh, you can't really fake uh, the stuff that we did. You know, I mean, he was really blowing air up his ass with a tube. Well, I didn't pump. know that at the time. <laughs> right. But yes, of course he was. Yeah, that wasn't. <laughs> 
Like, did you do? I don't know. I, I think people think some things are fake and, and some things aren't. Uh, the vast majority of it, as stupid as it was, was was completely real. So I, you know, I wish it was fake. That would. Be, I mean, Kenny and I have that debate all the time, where he thinks you know, he was always the. It's got to be real. It's got to be real. I, you know, I don't know if I'm lazy or whatever. I, I would rather the show be scripted and I have a nice trailer to go back to. I didn't have to live in that shitty house for uh, all that stuff. So, you know, whatever. Oh, this, like, I, it, it, you know, none of this. It's so old, dude. It's so old for me. Like the all Yeah, it's it, 20 years like, ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And I'm delighted that people still see value in it and comedy in it and, and, and fun in it. But, you know. But uh, you'd you know, like to I'm, move I, on. You'd like to move on, right? <laughs> but it's not really. No, okay. no, right. because, uh, you know, I'm a musician. I don't make as much money uh, with my music as I do with Kenny. Uh, everything else I've done has been, you know, except for maybe uh, my confessions of a porn addict and a series I did called X rated has been, you know, not successful. Uh, so I'm not an idiot. I can't uh, find that movie that you did. Where, where is, is no distribution for it? The confessions of a porn addict? Um, you know, there's DVDs. There was a distribution for it. Uh, no streaming it, it, rights. Yeah, because of the nature of it, uh, it's, it was a sex, very highly sexed uh, project. So was uh, uh, X-rated. Uh, they've been ostensibly buried by the broadcasters, so they won't show it. Uh, and, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, but, but I'm proud of the work. My point is that... Uh, uh, Kenny versus Benny was hilariously funny series. I, I, I pinched myself that I was a part of it. And uh, the fans are rabid still. And uh, it makes me happy. And I'm very grateful for it as much as I bitch and complain about it. The stuff uh, of comedy legends. You're a comedy legend in that regard. This show know. holds hey, up. You know, that, that icon legend, that, you know, all that stuff. I, I just goes right through me. I don't know. I, I'm just. Would me. you like me to call you a genius next? No. <laughs> no, I. In fact, I, you know, if you follow my social media, I am so not a genius uh, the last couple of days, uh, just unbelievably emotional in my tweeting. And I don't read what I'm retweeting. And people Do you have a hard out. time unplugging yourself? I, I just think Twitter is like a cesspool. I can't I barely like to use it. It's like just gross to me. Do you have I, don't, I, I, I think it's a great question. I, I don't have a problem unplugging at the end of the day because I know I can get back on it tomorrow. <laughs> So uh, it, it is a, a, a fuck soup of, of uh, th that I don't think uh, the culture has really got their head around uh, the, the uh, problems that it's creating. Uh, there's a cornucopia of things uh, and I absolutely love it. Twitter especially is my favorite thing. I'm not sure why. Uh, and uh, it, 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 it's like, I call it masturbating with oven mitts. It's just like, you know, you, you think you make a difference, but you're not even close to making a difference. In <laughs> fact, in fact, the, the divisiveness that you espouse is just playing right into. What uh, yeah, you know. it's I don't think that anything can ever be solved in online text based arguments ever. I know, but I, yeah. I, I'll be very honest with you. I can't help myself. I, I cannot help myself. I can't help myself to look at it and I can't help myself. Got to, uh, it's an addiction. Is pornography an addiction for you? Have an interest in pornography, or? Well, I, that was my movie, Confessions of a Porn Addict. No, I was never addicted to pornography. I am an addictive person, and I've had addictions. But uh, I think I'm addicted to social media. I think I think I am. It usually just bumps me out. But I have a couple of random questions here. Uh, what are your memories of? Did you write for Ninja Turtles: The Next Mutation, or is that uh, yes. not a real cre credit? Oh, that was real. Kenny and I wrote it. Uh, I, I don't remember how we got the gig, but it was a Fox show, live action. It was live action Turtles, like uh, by the yeah. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers people, right? Yeah, and it, and it made it to air, and uh, there's a, our credit written by, uh, you know, Kenny and Spenny. And, and, you know, it was way before we ever thought that we'd have our own TV show or anything like that. We was that writers. before Pitch? Uh, yes. Okay. And, and the, the, you know, it's funny about it because what I do remember, because I, I remember the creative more than I remember the business stuff, uh, was that we basically, <clears throat> I don't remember the turtles names. I think it was Michelangelo. We turned him into a Howard Stern like uh, uh, <laughs> pirate, pri pirate broadcaster because uh, we were big Stern fans back then. And now I don't know whether any of the kids that were watching it uh, did the correlation, but that's what it was. Um, 
what's going on with your YouTube channel? There's a lot of sex talk shows on that. You have like a network of people that stream on uh, there, or what's the deal? Yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a bit of a train wreck, frankly. Um, I I I do a couple of shows on there. Uh, one which I just killed called Sex with Spenny, which I absolutely think it's a great show. We just don't have the resources, and the audience is is you know a thousand, eleven hundred people. If if I if I uh, put it up on the thing, we'll watch it. Uh, so I'm a bit disappointed with it. Uh, I do a, a live stream, which is really more my thing, which is just like this, except I'm talking about politics or whatever's going on in the world that I love. Uh, and uh, I've got a, another guy I'm working with, and we're trying to get put together another show. And then I use the YouTube channel to just post historic uh, stuff that I do. My music, uh, the the movies, X X Rated is on there, and I highly recommend anybody to to, to watch it. It's there. Check out X Rated, folks. You know, there's uh, so eight, much. Eight episode series I did with Super Channel. Have you thought about uh, Twitch? I mean, the thing about Twitch is that you're a well-known commodity, so people would raid into you, and you would might grow faster. For a little schmuck like me, it doesn't work that great. But for a, a high-level commodity like yourself, it might be a decent. Well, I think that, I think calling me a high-level commodity is is. No, re really. I mean, it's just clout, right? It's invisible. Uh, no, I, bangle no, I don't knowledge. think I have any. I honestly <laughs> don't. Uh, I, I, you know, maybe I could get more views than someone like you just because I had a TV show. It's uh, true. I, I was. I my friend John Brown was the guy who sort of you know pushed me in the direction of doing it, and I like working with him. Uh, I have yet to really uh, see any meaningful amounts of money from it. Enough, you know, it's nice to get money every month from it. Uh, and I, I have a certain number of subscribers. I don't know how many that pay every month. So I want to continue giving them good content because I appreciate it. But I'm just figuring it out. It's, you know, I think I'm a talker basically. So that 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 format of me talking about current events or whatever is, is probably perfect for me. But I can't seem to break the one thousand view plateau for any of these. Well, videos. you're talking Rarely. to me. It's so Unless Kenny's on. Yeah, and this, this goes so much saying. competition out there. Everyone's got their 15 minutes of fame. Everyone's starting to live stream. Everyone thinks they got something to say. How do you poke, poke up from the pack? You're at least Spencer Rice. You've got that little bit of an edge that you could use that's and all abuse. It is. At the end of the day, that's all it is. And and you've heard of, I'm sure you've heard you sound like a sophisticated guy, the whole typecasting thing that you know, actors go through in a, in a reality sense, uh, uh, which is, uh, I'm not an actor. I've got a bit of that that I have to deal with. Uh, so does Kenny. It's hard to get out from under uh, uh, the Kenny versus Spenny thing, uh, which is a blessing and a curse. But uh, as long as Kenny wants to still work with me, then I guess it's a blessing. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's, you know, that paints who you are. That's how people see you. It doesn't matter what I say or what I do. It always will come back to that. So I just put my head down. I actually enjoy doing the live streams. I enjoy doing sex with Spenny. I enjoy the work that I do. So I just do that. I love, I love playing music, and that's what I do. I just do my thing. You do blues, classic rock, and country music. You tour Canada uh, and do that, and comedy too. Stand up or what? No, I don't do solo stand up. I no. used to. Uh, I, I my. My feeling is that uh, that's a, a life calling, and I never put in the you know the guitar I put in the the the, the decades and the hours and the blood and the sweat. Uh, I never did with stand up, so I I just don't see see it as being a as something that I would get to a level uh, that I'd be happy with and that it would make me happy because to me that's when you get good at something then you enjoy it. I don't think I ever got to the point that I was really good at stand up. I I did it in L A. I you know. I wasn't very good. That's a hard thing to get good at, I think. One of the hardest. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we got sure. some people in chat. See, there's is your fan base. They're saying stick to what you know. Just talk about Kenny versus Penny. Don't go outside the box. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? Ignore also, them. It's what I've been doing, done my whole life. Thank I you just, for calling me I sophisticated. I do what I want to do. I'm very... I'm a very uh, I know myself better than anyone knows me. I really don't give a shit. Kenny's the one that gives a shit. He acts like he doesn't give a shit, but he totally cares. I don't. I'm just out to uh, be creative and uh, find new avenues to express that creativity. That's what I do. And we're getting a lot of we love yous in the chat. We love you, Spenny. We love you, Spenny. Uh, I, I, love, I love everybody, basically, except the, the Trumper people, which, uh, you know. 
is is uh, you know it's metastasized a little bit to Canada, and uh, I think it's a huge thing, a huge deal. It's a very bad thing, uh, and uh, those people make me angry, and I don't hold back. Um, and you guys have tried to get another, uh, like we've seen with the Jackass movie. You know, when you're older and you put yourselves in these positions for suffering and various humiliations uh it can be just as funny if not more there's been no traction on any new seasons no one's interested well, well in this. i mean i think that the, the i what i can see happening and kenny i talked about it and holy fuck would it be funny is if we can make it to our 80s that's golden my friends and i've talked about that we had a movie we never finished we said why don't we get back together when we're 70 and finish the end of the movie yeah just yeah, like just do one i think we'd have one competition and be a, <laughs> you know an hour long, maybe an hour and a half, and I think it, it probably would be pretty damn fucking hilarious. But, uh, you know, uh, the problem with Kenny versus Spenny and taking it anywhere, or doing anything with it, everybody goes, put it on YouTube. They have no idea what it costs to do a show like Kenny versus Spenny. Like, they just don't know. Uh, it couldn't be done that way. In terms of any broadcaster or cable company or even streaming company, uh, I think Kenny's too over the top for them uh, with his humor. I I dig it. I, I I know who he is. He's a great guy. Ultimately, he you know, but he he says things that are uh, very politically incorrect. He doesn't. Yeah, do these days, right? There are rumors that Apple Plus is interested. That's what someone was saying in the chat. This bullshit, right? Yeah. Well, I, I you know I you know Kenny does a lot of stuff without telling me. He likes to come to me and present me with, okay, Hey, we got this. this. Can you do yeah. your county impression of him coming to you and saying, oh, Hey, like we got impression. this. It's a little more nasal. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to do Kenny. Okay. But, you know, you just, you never know. The business is so strange. It has a lot to do with, you know, one of these people who are a super fan or love us, they could end up one day at a network with a job that could green light a project. You know, those things happen. And then, you know, that, that can happen. Uh, but I think we're uh, a boutique kind of cult, to be honest with you, in terms of our numbers, uh, which was way more numbers than I ever thought we'd get. So I'm thrilled with that. Uh, uh, I think we could do a great show tomorrow if we uh, got one, but it, it's very hard to, and we don't really look for it. I have to tell you, we're not around pitching uh, places. We don't even bother, uh, but I just don't see it, at least right now, the way the uh, environment is out there. Someone wants me to ask you about the professional live show recording project you mentioned a year ago. Does this ring a bell? No, I don't know what, what that is. Oh, oh, you mean like a Kenny Spenny live movie kind of thing? Oh, well, didn't somebody make one, uh, record you guys on tour, one of your uh, crew members? Well, we've got little pieces of that. Uh, that, that is something that might happen. Um, it's just we're so old and lazy. Probably you know, by the time you're 80, the, the genius yeah. will be, uh, you know, uh, they will know your genius more and there'll be much more of a fervor. You just got to get the dotted line signed with the insurance companies well, we'll, at we'll that be, point, right? We'll be, we'll be shitting in our, uh, on our diapers, except it won't be a part of the competition. There will be poop all over the set. It, yeah. So, uh, you know, look, I, I don't know. I never say never. Uh, I'm too uh, too into the cash and I love the comedy. So I don't know. You know, we'll see. But, you know, you just got to keep yourself busy and focus on what you can do. And that's what I do. And that's what Kenny and I do. And, and the live show, by the way, is very unique, very uh, fun to do. It, it, it's weird because it is fun for me, even though I'm totally miserable doing it. <laughs> the, the, the broad the broad stroke of being out there on the road and doing that I do love uh, and I love uh, you know pissing off the fans so it's it's a it's a weird it's a weird web we've woven are you doing a US tour anytime soon or is it in we the did, works we did, we did a small one and yes we're going to do uh, the west coast I believe of the of the United States we just did uh, I don't know New York Detroit Philadelphia uh, so yeah we're going to be coming to the states which is a little risky for us because the show you know did wasn't on really tv very long in the states so uh people have found us in the u.s through youtube mostly we we're on one season only on comedy central and they kept changing the time slot so there was no way we could get a foothold in that audience uh -huh. uh, but uh, the the we went there uh, the last time we went to the u.s the audience was fantastic it was great great shows uh I got completely... One sec. Uh, Do Zoom meetings just end at the end of the time it says? 
I don't know. I don't know either. I think so. Yeah, shit. Then that's coming up. I just I didn't want to hold you for too long. Let me just promote your dates, and uh, I'm going to let you go. Right. Uh, August 19th, Regina at the Turvey Center, Saskatchewan, Saskatoon and Outlaws. Lloyd Minister at the Vic Juba Theater. Google Vic Juba. Learn about Vic Juba. Yeah. And uh, Spencer, thank you for coming on. This is my first celebrity interview. Normally, I just roll dice and try to do uh, improv and characters. Well, but... are, you're in Lloyd Minister, is that right? You're going to come to the show? I'm in the United States. Somebody uh, that's a big fan of you made this happen for me as a oh, big okay. fan. Gotcha. You know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, look, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I, I think you're great at what you're doing. Uh, I do a lot of these. So uh, uh, thank Maybe you. Maybe I'll have, if you're interested, have you back again a later date for a little bit longer. Uh, sure, I'll play some music next time. That sounds great, bud. Thank you so much. Right. Have thank a good you. evening. Enjoy thank life you. and all the happiness it has sometimes. Later, babe. That's trippy as fuck, isn't it? I didn't have time to do the goddamn... I didn't have time to do the board. I didn't have time to do the board, okay? I didn't have time. I built a board. But I didn't have time. I didn't have time. And I'm not a fucking sellout, whoever said that shit. I did my best. Here's the dates again for anyone in Canada. There's at least ten, five to ten of you, right? Here's the dates. If any of you guys, please buy one ticket so we can say we made a difference. I wish I had more time, Cookie Muhammad. I'm not usually a, a celebrity interviewer. But we're trying to get some traction over here. I know, but how many Canadians in here? Give me a one. I am adopted. It's my fucking prom suit, bitch. Suck my bunghole. Give me, I, I want to get a little bit of a, I got at least five Canadians in this bitch. Come on. Hey, this is Abbabox. Please like and subscribe to the video if you've enjoyed it. Also, if you want to see even more weird stuff, go on over to twitch.tv slash Abbabox, where I stream, I don't know, it's about three times a week. Thank you for watching, and I cherish your butt. Love you.